welcome our special guest. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what your name is. Hi everyone, I'm Christina from YouTube. I like making oh, makeup tutorials for all of my viewers and subscribers. And I'm hoping to find true love today. What kind of questions do you have for contestant number one? Hmm. Contestant number one, if you were to take me on a romantic date, where would you take me and why? I would probably take you to Japan to uh, Hokkaido because they have some beautiful, very beautiful landscapes up there. In the winter, it's very beautiful. Take you to like a tea place and get some hot tea because she is, from the sounds of it, a hot tea. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> that sounds good. Yeah, Jan Japan has great food too, and I'm sure that we'd have a great time. What additional questions do you have for these gentlemen, Xtainer? Alright, so what kind of look do you like on a girl? Please describe the hair, makeup, even the way she dresses. Okay. How about you, contestant number three? I don't know. The minimalist view. I like the minimalist view. So what do you mean by minimalist? Can you elaborate on that a little? No, just enough so that you bring out certain features, but not too much that it overshadows your natural beauty. Okay, I like that. That's a great answer. Well, I really love food. I love eating. So my final question would be, what would you cook for me and why? Contestant number two, how about you? Um, well, hopefully I'd be able to bring you breakfast in bed. Oh. Brownies, next. <laughs> All you can eat buffet. All I can eat buffet. We'll be back after this go? commercial break. <laughs> So, um, this is kind of like a testimonial, but not one of those fake ones where they just tell you fake stuff so that they get paid for it. This is actually the honest truth. My honest opinions on the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is expensive stuff, but you know what? It's worth it. I believe it retails for about $17. It's supposed to help your eyeshadows appear even more vibrant when you apply it. And it also helps your shadows from like creasing, um, from fading throughout the day. And it's amazing. If you don't want to look like a panda or a raccoon by the end of the day, you need to give this a try because it's amazing. Urban Decay Primer Potion. The magic's in the bottle. I swear. I have the most oily lids ever, and this lasts about 8 hours on me before I see any kind of crease line going on in my eyeshadow. Is that good enough? I want my money now. What about you, contestant number 3? I don't know. They say the moon, but I'll probably just take you there and leave you there. You would leave me on the moon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that your natural body odor from your juicy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that's not inappropriate. Juicy Cooter. That, co Couture. Co How do you pronounce that? Oh, couture? Juicy Cooter? I think you're referring to Juicy Couture. Couture. Didn't I? Couture? You're such a fob. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. You yeah, should have a guess with fobs, man. You sound whiter than me, bro. Check out these pearly lights. I'm going to cure cancer, yo, so pick me. World peace. YouTube.com. Can't lose. A show. I'll just shut up. I like it. Oi, oh, good day, mates. Are you too impatient to wait for your hard fruits to ripen? Well, no worries, folks, because I've got a humdinger of a solution for you. Today, the lovely hands of this Sheila, aka X Tina, are going to show you how to make her famous fish sauce to accompany your favorite unripened fruits. Here we use mango, in which the extreme tartness plays a crikey of a role in matching our delicate, sweet, and salty sauce. To start, what you'll need is some sugar, fish sauce, and a bowl to concoct the mixture. Start with two and a half heaping spoonfuls of sugar. Next is our fish sauce. Here we use squid brand. Though not as cute as a koala, it's quite tasty nonetheless. Add the fish sauce, making sure to use only a teaspoon or two so as not to make the blend watery. We don't want our mangoes drowning in a mellifluous billabong, do we? Now, mix until most of the fish sauce is absorbed. Don't worry if it looks chunky and completely unappetizing. The sugar will soon dissolve to a perfect consistency. For an extra good time in your mouth, try cutting up some Thai chilies. If you don't have any, you can always substitute ground cayenne pepper. Give this beast one more good stir and you're off. Good on ya, Xtina. You've made this bloke as happy as a horny toad. <laughs>